Last year, we visited the beautiful people of Mission Vale, the children, the staff, the volunteers. But the COVID-19 situation has hit the community hard. Families are starving and the care centre is struggling to cope. But with your support, we can help. Mission Vale, Port Elizabeth, one of South Africa's poorest and most disadvantaged communities. 80% of people here are unemployed, 70% are infected or affected by HIV. The struggle is very real. There's a lot of poor people, especially in Missionville. Um, there's a lot of people that actually don't have money from their jobs because lots of them do like peace jobs. They call it peace jobs, there's a little job here and there. But there is some hope and it comes in the form of the Missionville Care Centre. It exists to provide children with a basic education. It exists to provide families with primary health care and food. It exists to provide a better way of life for the most disadvantaged in the Nelson Mandela Bay region. Some of them are like special needs, people that are bed driven. Some of them are um, OVC kids, which are orphaned and vulnerable children. Right now, they're going door to door, delivering essentials like face masks. At the moment, we're doing it every day. It's about 400 people a day uh, that we go out in the different vehicles in different areas. We've all got our different areas. The care centre has long been Ethel Normoyle's passion project. Since 1988, she's been toiling day in, day out to improve the lives of so many, earning praise from Queen Elizabeth and Mother Teresa. Fundraising is Mission Vale's lifeblood. And now, more than ever, Australians are being asked to help. Together, we can play a vital role in making sure this community doesn't suffer any more than it has to. Supporting Mission Vale is simple. Donations can be made online and they're tax deductible. The aim is to raise $25,000 and in doing so, provide protection for those most vulnerable during this pandemic.